Hi Kirby fans, so today I'm gonna to show you how to get deep gauges out of your Kirby with a buffer. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Right, well, don't forget everything you can use my videos, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products, make sure you check those out. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Right, so in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is getting the gauges out of that century two and then we'll get it assembled in a following video. So this is gonna be a tutorial and I'm gonna show you how I get it, all those gauges out with a sander and obviously on the buffer as well and all the buffering wheels are used. This, obviously the polishing will be a bit of a time lapse but there will be splits in between where I do explain what I'm doing in each part. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight into it. Right, so as you can see we've got it all cleaned. We've got a fair amount of work to do on these so I'll quickly zoom in and show you what we've got to do with the polishing and the buffing to get all the marks out and the condition of the actual aluminium pieces that we've got. So what we'll do is quickly zoom in and have a look. Right, so probably the best piece here at the moment is the front plate. There's not that much corrosion on there. I mean, that should come up pretty awesome. We've got a little bit of work to do with the headlight section. There's no gauges in there, no scratches, just corrosion. And then we move across to the top cover. Again, there's no scratches. It's just mainly a bit of corrosion on there. And the worst part is the actual portable power nozzle. And I'm not sure you can see this on camera, but you can see, I'll just zoom in, there you go. So if that's not blurring, you could see all, there's all gouges here and here from if it's from its teeth and around on this corner here. And we flick it around this side. You've got exactly the same. You've got all gouges here and here. Obviously it was a pup and its teeth are pretty sharp. So we're gonna see if we can get this looking mint. We're gonna get obviously this polished up as well. We're gonna do it on the buffer. So I'll quickly go through how we buff it as well. So you quickly see it on the buffer being buffed. Um, this one will polish up quite well. I've already done the handle. So this is the handle. And as you can see, that, that all that corrosion is gone. I mean, it's come up like new, absolutely perfect. So what we'll do is jump in, start getting this sanded, this one first and then we'll get it on the buffer and get it all buffed. So as you can see, we've got most of the deep scratches out now. The rest we'll get with some fine wet and dry. So that was just 240 grit and an orbital sander. So if they're not that deep, they come out pretty well. I mean, look at these with just teeth marks, so it's not that bad. So what we're gonna do now is get some wet and dry and just go over that and work our way up to around 2,000, 3,000 grit. And then polish it up. So we'll start off with some 240 wet and dry now. Then we'll go up to some 320, then we'll go up to 500, then we'll go 1500, and then we'll go 2000. Right, so as you can see, all the scratches have gone, all those deep gauges, we've got them out. It's got, it's just got those fine scratches from the 2000, but you can see that sheen's coming up already, and all that corrosion's sort of gone. 
You can go over it with really fine grade sandpaper if you want, but I just find the best way to do it is obviously do it like that. And then we'll get out the buffer and see how it comes up. So I've been using some brown compound because it's aluminium. I've already got one open here, which I will use. All right. So first up, we're going to be using the sizal rag. And um, we're going to get all this buffed up and get all these fine scratches out. Then we'll move on to a normal rag. And then we'll still use the brown and we'll head on, work our way up through the colours. So you've got the grey, the green, and then the white for your final polish. So purely because we've got all these sand marks in here, we're going to use the sizal with the brown because it's not as aggressive as the black, just to get all these marks out. And we'll see how she comes up. And you see that's coming out. I mean, it's got a shine on there already and we haven't even got up to the final polish. So now we've got the top and we've still got all that corrosion. So I'm gonna try that with sawzall first and the brown again so it's not so aggressive. And then we'll do the same with the headlight section. And then what we'll do is move on to the rag. So then we'll change it to a rag and then we'll move on to the buffer. Right, so now we're going to change our wheel and this is just a rag one so to take it off just onto it comes off like so and then we're going to put our rag on so again just make sure these pointers just make sure these are facing out spin it on and because of the way it rotates it will self tighten them as it goes so tighten it as much as you can now to clean these off, what I like to do, if you've been using it a lot, is just grab some 240 paper, and you can get any excess grime and wax off there. So just turn it on. And you see, it's gonna get all that old wax off there. and dirt and groin that's been put on there. And you can see now that's come up a lot cleaner. So we're ready to start buffing again. So we'll try it with the green first just to see whether I'm happy with it. So you don't need loads. You've still got some corrosion then you'll go back down to the brain
So now we're gonna change this to our buffing rag. Everything we use today, there are links in the description below for all the products I'm using today. So you can see when these come, they've got a really small hole in the middle and normally at the back, but obviously because this is tapered, it just screws on. So to unscrew it, you'll notice a bigger wheel. It just makes buffing a lot quicker with the bigger version and you've got a lot more space to go across. Now we'll just go for our final polish, which is the white. Well, so now we've got everything buffed up, we'll have a look and see how it turned out. All right, so we've got the power nozzle, and you can see all those gauges have gone. Just needs a bit of a polish with some mothers just to get all those fingerprints off other than that that's come up awesome that's the headlight again once it's got a bit of a polish to get rid of the fingerprints that'll be fine front plate wasn't too bad and um, what i normally do with the front plate again is i normally polish in here so i'll buff that up with the size of wheel just to get any grime and just gets get a nice smooth finish May increase airflow, may not. I used to do gas flow heads on cars, so I'm assuming it might a little bit. And then we've got the top, which again, all the corrosion's gone. Just needs a lot of slight polish with some others. Don't forget, everything you use in my videos are all linked in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products. Make sure you check those out. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and as you can see it's really easy to get your gauges out especially if you've got a buffer it makes life a lot easier especially with the three different types of wheels that I use and obviously the polishing material you use as well to get rid of those gauges. You can see from obviously the end result it's came up superb so in the next video what we'll do is we'll get it all back together so that'll be again a tutorial showing you how to fix your Kirby back together from scratch after you've polished it all up. If you're new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. Right, so in today's video, as I said, I'm going to be showing you how to get the gauges. Right, so I'm joined. Right, so I'm joined. So in the previous video, what we did was we picked up that 